Hello guys! Welcome back or hi if you're new here. My name is Ivy Carino and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I truly appreciate all your support. So, I think the main question here is where the heck have I been? I have not uploaded. Let's see. So it's been three Mondays, which is really truly heartbreaking to me because I miss you guys. So a little bit of the explanation that I would give is... I'm just trying to find a schedule um, with doing 40 hours a week and I also want to add it's hard to not be influenced by that 8 to 5 life because it's all I'm surrounded with 40 hours a week if that makes sense everybody in my job is just like you know 8 to 5 8 to 5 and especially one of my co-workers like they're just like you know that's just their life you know so yeah but I'm back okay I'm back I'm sorry it took so long I'm back and I'm just going to you know take it little by little and yeah let's get straight into this video so today's video as you saw by the thumbnail um we're gonna be doing a cute little glam look not too glam before I go to work I woke up extra early just for you guys so you better feel appreciated and I'm sorry and I'm sorry for leaving you guys for three whole weeks of nothingness sorry about that Let's take a moment of silence. Okay, so I still need to do a little bit of shopping for my skin tone. So, of course, we're going to work around that. We're not going to let that stop us, period. We're just going to get rid of this sock, my sun's sock. <laughs> first thing first, starting with our sunscreen, our CeraVe moisturizer. This is the only sunscreen that I put on my face. And I'm out in the sun all day, so... Well, I'm not sitting in the sun. I'm sitting in the shade. I try to sit in the shade as much as possible because I'm not trying to get super dark anymore. I feel like this is the darkest I want to go. Um, but summer hasn't even begun yet, so I'm definitely going to get darker. <laughs> so I'm going to rub this moisturizer in and I'll be right back with you guys. And I have a lot of questions on like, oh, how does your sunscreen look with no white cast? You just have to rub it in for a thousand hours. <laughs> just have to rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, and it will go away. But you can't just rub in a little bit and inspect. No, you have to work. You gotta work for that, babes. Like, you have to work for everything in life. <laughs> I'll be back, guys. Okay, and then I am going to be priming a little bit. Um, just because I want this makeup to stay all day. And I sweat throughout the day. So, we're putting this primer to the test. I'm going to do a little foundation on my eyes. So that I can do a cute little eyeshadow look. I think that looks really nice, really subtle, not like too light. But again, if it does look too light, contouring and bronzing will help darken the face up, so I'm not worried about it too much. And then of course, I'm going to set it quickly with the Anastasia, uh, right here. Um, and I wanted to talk with you guys about what happened at the Easter event at the easter event so i'm talking with my fellow co-workers the other pool attendants and we're hanging out by the pool because that's where i was stationed at at the pool and we're like talking the day's already over like it's over like everybody's going home there's probably like three people left like okay probably like 20 people left out of like 300 people that came so it wasn't much going on right and we're just talking and mind you a lot of these people that came to the event are hispanic so there's a lot of spanish speaking and i don't know if you guys know but i am hispanic but i don't speak spanish but i'm working on it and i understand quite a lot i would say and so i am minding my business again talking there's only a little bit of people left at the party all of a sudden i hear Ayudame, ayudame. And that means help, help. And I turn around because the people were behind me. And I turn around and I'm looking to see who needs help, who needs help, what is going on. And when I look, 
I see a woman holding a little child, maybe like a seven, she was like a seven year old girl and they're falling to the floor and she's holding her. And I was like, is she dead? <laughs> so my instincts kicked in and I started running towards her in hope that I could help somehow, some way. Um, and I grabbed my water bottle and I have like one of those water bottles that like stay cold, like, what is it called? I don't know. I know if you put something cold, it like stays for like 10 hours and put something hot, it stays for like eight, something like that. And I had ice and water and I kept filling it up all day because it was hot out, you know? So I already had water and ice in my water bottle, thank God. And so I get there and she's like, dame agua, dame agua, which means give me water. Um, there's a lot of people trying to help, maybe like four people trying to help. And they're opening their water. Example, this is not water. They're opening their water and they're giving it to the mom. And when I see that, this is all happening in seconds. When I see that, I open my water bottle and I pour my water. Boom, I pour my water on her. And the little girl wakes up and she's like, and then the little girl wakes up and she hold, like she hugs her mom and whatever. And her mom's like, I can I ask you guys mucho, mucho, mucho. Um, and she just kept saying like to her daughter, like, are you okay? Are you okay? Um, what happened? What happened? Like, she just kept talking with her daughter the entire time, of course. Um, and so, yeah, so that happened. And child... Like the minute that I got there and the little girl was in the mom's arms and they were going to the floor and when I got there, they're on the floor, the little girl's completely passed out. I honestly don't think I've ever seen someone pass out. Like, I'm trying to think, my whole 20 years of living, have I ever seen someone like unconscious like that? Well, okay, yeah, I remember a time. Um. <laughs> So I do remember time. So I have seen someone um, unconscious, but not in a very long time. And when that happens, and now that I'm a mom and you know, like your adrenaline hits different, like you pick up on the most littlest things, you're like a superhero, if that makes sense. Like you have all these like super instincts, I would say. And so my super instincts definitely kicked in um, when my brain went, pour the water on her and not give it to her. Um, and yeah, I'm just super glad that, you know, she wasn't dead and I didn't have to perform CPR because that would have been really scary. That would have been really traumatizing, you know? Um, but I was ready. I was ready. I was going over the procedure in my head, like while this is all happening, I was just super ready. Um, and so then what happens, we put the girl in a chair, she's awake but she's very drowsy she's not in the right state of mind um she feels very weak she can't really talk and so somebody from my job um she brings over a powerade that we had in the office and um because we're like okay maybe it's hot out maybe she had a heat stroke maybe she's sugar and we're talking with the mom and we're trying to figure out what's happened. Did she eat? You know, has she drinking water? Is she dehydrated? We're trying to figure all this out. And the mom's saying to us, she just had donuts. She was drinking water. Like, you know, we sit in the shade mostly. Um, so she can't be like, you know, she probably could still be dehydrated even though she did drink water because it was super hot that day. Um, so the my coworker brings her the parade and the girl the little girl is so just like out of it that she literally like her mom's like um un poquito you know take a little bit take a little bit um drink a little bit nena please you know like the mom's freaking out doesn't like everybody's freaking out we don't know what's going on um it's really like a, a scary situation and so um the mom's like freaking out and the little girl like she she just kept declining everything she didn't want to take a sip of um water she didn't want to take a sip of the parry like she just was not and she she wasn't feeling it you know like she didn't feel well she just wanted to kind of sleep and so we were like okay mom well you need to take her to the hospital then maybe because she's not drinking anything like she doesn't feel good she still looks and feels a week like that's what she's telling us you know and so mom agrees and she goes okay i'm gonna take her to the hospital right now 
and but she says let me get um, my car and so she leaves the little girl with us because my boss at the time was like yeah it's fine just leave her with us go get your car like again adrenaline is happening everybody's freaking out so we go yeah just leave her with us like it's fine we'll take care of her go get your car and um the event like it's the parking lot leading to the grass so you can go from the parking lot to the grass there's like a little ramp kind of like the street goes into the grass if that makes sense um and so the mom goes to get the car and i take an ice cube out my bottle and i'm just putting this ice all over her forehead putting the ice on her neck and stuff like that so that she could um you know kind of like wake up and stuff because i saw that the coldness was waking her up so i just kept doing that and then other people had like alcohol wipes trying to get her to smell that just in case she was nauseous that supposedly takes it away um so everybody was trying to help you know we had people fanning like everybody was just trying to help this poor little girl we didn't know what the hell was going on um and then mom comes with the car and she has the ac blasting and we're like you need to take her to the hospital so that maybe she can get some iv and they could you know hydrate her that way because again she wasn't she didn't want to drink anything like she was just very out of it and we're not gonna force a little girl who doesn't want to drink anything you know like who will um and so so mom gets here and we're like mom are you okay to drive because again adrenaline oh my eyes here because adrenaline was you know going through her and we don't want her to crash like and god forbid the little girl was to pass out again while on the way to the hospital like we were like do you want to get an ambulance like what the hell are we gonna do uh so we were trying to figure all that out she's like no i'm okay to drive because the hospital's not too close not too far from my job so we we're like no i'm okay to drive da, da, da. so she drove to the hospital um and she had i guess i'm not sure if she had other family there or what but there was people my boss was like no have her drive and whatever and the girl the lady was like i can drive for you and stuff like that um but i'm not sure if that was just like a random lady i'm not sure if that was her family like i'm not sure who she came to this easter event with that was a very interesting interesting experience i was just very like i kind of needed that because well first off i was shaking bullets and it was just adrenaline you know um but i needed that because my whole day i was just by the bathroom and it was kind of like nothing much going on you know but just very like relaxing kind of vibes like wasn't much going on i love doing like a pink solid look on me and of course adding glitter who didn't love glitter so yeah that was the easter event in a quick uh quick story that was that how how that was how my easter went how's yours was yours better than mine i mean mine was pretty okay so i'm just gonna put this glitter i'm just gonna start stacking glitters on my lid okay guys so that completes today's look i have the huda beauty lip uh, lip pencil in the color spice girl and then i put the morphe lipstick in the shade loudmouth that pink in the inner super bright super cute um and then i put the maybelline superstay ink crayon in the shade 05 live on so i put this uh, Maybelline right here and right here and then of course the loud mouth I just did a strip in the middle and that's why it's super bright in the middle and then surround it with my Huda Beauty I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in and I want to give a little bit of um, if you're new here or if you're old and you're not sure what my videos contain I want to specify that I am going to be doing makeup looks i'm going to be doing hair looks i'm going to be reviewing products whether that be skincare hair care makeup all that stuff body washes feminine washes all that good stuff i like all that stuff okay that's what my channel is mostly going to be about i might throw in food videos me trying um to cook um you know dishes different type of things i know i want to try to cook by me 
um, which is pig. Um, it's a Hispanic pig that usually happens in like big parties or events like Christmas and stuff. It's super good. So arroz con gandules, I would like to, you know, cook that and record it. Um, and to really show you guys, like if I can do it, so can you. Period. That's all I'm here to show you. And I also want you guys to know that the purpose of me having a child a child the purpose of me having a channel the purpose of me doing this is so that i can create not only online friends but so i that i can be that sister to somebody that comfort zone to somebody when they want to escape or just a stress reliever or just like a you know i need an idea for a makeup look or i need to know what curly hair product to use like you know if you want to come to me for advice if you want to come to me for comfort like all those things like that's the purpose of my channel that's the purpose of me doing this okay um and hopefully one day i will be getting sent products so i don't have to spend my own money but until now I gotta spend my own money and I don't know if you guys know but that's it's expensive you know and um, for those of who are new I do have a child um, so I can't just spend all my money on you know makeup or hair or body care like um, so oh my god as I'm talking I'm gonna be applying my highlight I forgot so yeah I wanted to specify you know that because I feel like I'm also going to try to put it in my bio because I feel like I want people to understand why I'm doing this. Like, you know, I understand, but I never actually said it on why I'm doing this, you know, and it's good for other people to understand so that, you know, if they agree with me, then they can support, you know, I don't want to just post videos and they're just like, why the hell is she doing this? You know, there's a meaning behind everything you do in life and what better way than to let you guys know the purpose of me you know creating that youtube channel so thank you for your support um and i hope that you stick around i hope that you find enjoyment in my videos comfort in my videos entertainment um and beauty advice or relationship advice like all those videos like that's the purpose of my channel so i hope you stick around if you like what i just talked about i create videos and I post them every Monday, every Monday. Follow my socials down below in the description. Always, always, always. And I will see you all next week with another banger. <laughs> Bye, guys. I miss you already.